Right, an investigation is underway this morning after a sexual assault at the UA Little Rock campus. Mandy Knoll is following this story. And Mandy, when did this happen? Ashley, it happened last night. This morning, we're trying to learn more about a suspect. It was around 5:20 at Stabler Hall in the second floor of the women's restroom. Stabler is an educational building. As far as a description of the suspect, we don't have one just yet. The university sent out a text right after it happened, warning students just after the attack. UA Little Rock Police are investigating. We are hoping to find out some more information from them this morning. In fact, here in just a couple minutes, I'm going to be giving them a call. So in the next hour, we'll hope to have a little bit more information for you. Back to you, Ashley. All right, we'll check back in with you at 8 o'clock. Hotel owners hope to get a lawsuit thrown out after a woman says the staff ignored signs of a human trafficking ring. The alleged abuse happened at this former Little Rock Quality Inn five years ago when the woman first filed her lawsuit last year she only named the hotel owner and an update in its suit the alleged victim is now naming a manager saying he told staff to quote not call the police or report suspicious activity and he was actually living um, on the fourth floor where all of this trafficking was going on Calls to the manager have not been answered. Lawyers representing the hotel's owner say they can't comment because it's an ongoing case, but they are fighting to throw out the suit, saying too much time has passed. A warning this morning from the McRae Police Department in White County. Be aware of your surroundings and be extra cautious. Last weekend, an officer pulled over a car without its lights on. That's when he found out the two people in the car were, register, were registered sex offenders from Pulaski County. During a car search, police say they found some questionable items. The acting police chief doesn't think the people in the car committed any crimes, though, in their area. Well, things can happen whenever you think they can't. And even in a small town, you know, even with, you know, police force being poor people. No one has been charged yet, but police say they are still investigating, so charges could happen. Voters in Van Buren County might be able to decide if they'd like to see alcohol sales in the area. Community members in Fairfield Bay have started a petition to put it on the ballot in November. They will need 4,000 signatures. The group says it got the petition approved by the county clerk's office and they have officially started gathering signatures. The city of Arkadelphia is kicking off the new year with some upgrades. In a Facebook post, the city says it's funding some much needed projects through the Move Arkadelphia Forward campaign that passed last year. The youth sports complex received safety up dates. The city replaced 20-foot poles with 30-foot poles that will hold netting to prevent foul balls from flying into the concession area and towards spectators at the nearby softball fields. All right, it's